Let's focus in this lecture on the dynamic zoom. I'm sure you already know how it works and what it does. But in this lecture, I'm going to show you how also to customize it. And it's pretty easy, by the way, and lots of fun. When you put on the dynamic zoom, you will notice that you already have a zoom in. And then if you scrub through, you will notice that it's zooming out. That's one way the dynamic zoom works. Or you can swap it. Then you start by the original zoom, zoom zero, and then it zooms in. Okay? So the zooming is cool. It's not bad. You can use it as default. It can do lots of work for you, mainly if you're doing slides or something like this. But then you can customize it. I will reset it from here. Okay, so we go back to the original where we are zooming in. And to customize it, you come to the on-screen controls, and I'm sure you have seen dynamic zoom over here. So you have now two binding boxes. The green one is your starting zoom. This is on the first frame. And then the red one is your ending zoom. So you're going to zoom out from the green to the red in this case. Okay, here you are. If you scrub through, you notice it is not working. It's not zooming in and out. This is because when you have the controls on, the object of the binding box is to show you what you are going to crop from your clip. And this is very important. So you know exactly what's going to be cropped, mainly at the beginning and at the end also. So if you come over here and you want to change that, you can change the start zoom. For example, you click just on the corner and you change the start zoom okay now you want to scrub through to see exactly how much you cut from his feet and his neck okay it can work not bad not really let's see exactly how it's going to happen now to be able to preview your customization you have to play the clip i press alt forward slash to play between the in and out here you are so that's it it cuts yes it's zooming out and by the end we are at the maximum zoom now you can come over and change the last state of the zoom. For example, we do it like this if you like. And then let's play it. Now the last state is going to be a bit smaller. It has a zoom in. Here you are. If you swap now, it's just the other way around. You start from the green. You can start from over here. And let's end up something funny, for example, just over here. See what happens. And let's play between in and out point. So notice how it's zooming in. Mind you, when you will render this video, the quality will be much better than the viewer here. Now that you made some changes and you don't want these changes, all you have to do is to come to the dynamic zoom over here and click to reset it. That's it. And it's reset at its normal state. So actually, this is all about the dynamic zoom and the on-screen controls, and I hope you will have a lot of fun with it. Notice that if your video is centered on a subject over here, or you have put even your graphical logo on this clip, you can now zoom in towards your logo or towards the subject, whatever you have. So there are a lot of applications for this dynamic zoom. Thank you. I will see you in the next lecture.